So you might be wondering why I'm leaning against this locked door and um, holding Wolfie's wand. Rowan, you can't keep me in here for three days. <sighs> yeah, let's talk about dragons. my witches and wizards, this is Professor Rowan. I'm having to trust that I'm in shot because it's so bright out here I can't see my camera. Welcome to April! It's about time. Feels like it's been March of 2020 for over a year now, so hopefully now we can maybe act like it's 2021? Maybe? Speaking of April, I have the details for the calendar for April for all of the events through Wizards Unite and also have the details on our first adversaries event which starts like right away. So let's get into the details of the calendar first. Our first adversaries event happens April 2nd through April 5th beginning and ending at 11 a.m. my local time and it's all about the dragon adversaries. All three of them. I'll be giving you more details about that in just a moment. Now, if you haven't been able to read the lore of what, hap what is happening in the Brilliant events, I have that on my Facebook page. The link will be in the description below. Um, but there's some big information that happened in the most recent Br Brilliant event, and I'm sure that's going to roll into this next Brilliant event. Because this Brilliant is event is called A Weasley Predicament. Part 1 will go from April 5th through April 12th beginning and ending at 11 a.m. my time, which does mean that the brilliant event starts the moment the adversary event ends. It also means that it's running Monday to Monday instead of Monday, instead of Tuesday to Tuesday. So that's going to be different than what we have experienced in the past. The first part of this event will be focusing on the Weasley Wizarding Wheezes, or however you say the first part of their store, but it will be focusing on that section. The second adversaries event runs from April 12th through April 15th, again beginning and ending at 11 a.m. my local time. This one will be focusing on Aragog and the Basilisk. Joy! April Community Day is on the 17th from midnight to midnight your local time. It does appear like it's going to be focused on fortresses and specifically getting you the fortress only foundables from the uh, Hogwarts school, like the Owl Lectern or the Flying Boar Portrait. We'll know more about that later. And finally, the second part of the Brilliant event will be running from the 19th through the 26th. Again, that's a Monday to Monday, starting and ending at 11 a.m. my local time. This one is going to be taking place in the borough, um, so dealing with the rest of the Weasley family after everything that happened. And if you don't know what happened, by the way, um, I'm going to put all of that together and make sure it is available on my Facebook page as soon as I am done um, editing and posting this video. Honestly, it's a lot of events as we are getting used to, but I'm very thankful that they are not quite as crammed together as March was. Because that, I, yeah, I just could not keep up. So glad it's not anything like that. Now on to the details of our first adversary event. It starts on April 2nd and runs through April 5th. It is all about dragons, but it's not just the adversary dragons that we are going to be dealing with. We are also going to have specific 1K port keys for the dragon eggs from the oddities page. These port keys will be color coded and color coordinated so you know which egg you're getting. And if you are not yet level 14 and you can't really participate in the adversary event, don't worry. During this time, there is a spotlight event specifically for you. Um, we're just going to get into all those details in just a moment. Okay, so let's get through the parts that have become common for adversary events. You're going to get a free store pack with one edible dark mark, two healing potions, one a stimulo potion, and 30 spell energy. 
You're also going to have reduced brew times on a stimulo potions and wit sharpening potions. The master's notes for those will be reducing them by 50%. The ingredients for the wit sharpening potions are going to be boosted on the map, which is helpful because I kept running out of ginger last time. All three dragon adversaries are going to be boosted on the map. That is the all three ancient dragons, the Norwegian Ridgeback, the Hungarian Horntail, and the Peruvian, no, the Ukrainian Iron Belly. That's right. You are also going to be guaranteed foundables when you are in chamber forest four or higher. And you're guaranteed Akamis when you're going into any of the dark chambers. So four and five will give you a guarantee of whatever you use the rune stone, stone of, and dark one through dark five will be guaranteeing you an Akami. I don't know if it's going to be like that last time we had a guarantee where the Akami was in addition to the regular foundable, but just letting you know that the Akami is there. You will be getting increased wizarding XP, increased challenge XP, and increased family XP from completing a fortress. And also there's a Barufio's Brain Elixir Spotlight event that's only for anyone levels 4 through 14. This adversaries event is going to have a regular list and a bonus task list. So let's talk about the regular task list first. Okay, it's a little too hot for the hoodie in the sun now. Oi. Okay, on to the task list. Using the master's notes eight times will give you one silver key. Considering that there are special port keys on the map for this event, I'm actually going to be using all of the silver keys that I've been hoarding lately. So that will be helpful for opening all of those port keys. Returning to Akami foundables from any of the dark chambers. So remember that's guaranteed in the dark chamber. Those Akamis will be getting you the ginger root. Use two edible dark marks, two of them. They're only giving you one in the free store pack so I hope you've hoarded some from before. Those two dark marks will give you 20 spell energy. All right, so this is where things start getting a little complicated. Return 12 fragments from the Norwegian Ridgeback chain, specifically the Norwegian Ridgeback chain, 12 fragments. There's gonna be three dragons boosted. We're just talking about the Ridgeback at this point. Does that make sense? I hope so. Those 12 fragments will give you two potent stimulo potions. Return three dragon foundables, dragon egg foundables from the port keys. So in other words, open three of the special port keys. That will give you one defense against the dark arts book. Defeat three of the ancient Norwegian Ridgebacks, just that adversary. So that will probably be completed when you're getting the chain done for the rest of that, if that makes any sense at all. That will give you one more Defense Against the Dark Arts book. And finally, deal 25,000 damage to adversaries. That will get you one final Defense Against the Dark Arts book. Completing that entire to-do list will give you five more Defense Against the Dark Arts books. 500 Wizarding XP, 60 gold, and spell energy. You're gonna need spell energy after all the stuff that you just spent defeating all of those dragons. And now on to that bonus challenge. If you can't get to the bonus challenge, that's fine, not a big deal. But I'm actually kind of excited about it. I do wanna point out that the tasks in this challenge are cumulative, like it doesn't reset, but it'll make more sense in a moment. Defeat seven ancient dragons. Doesn't matter which ones, seven of them. And that does mean getting all the way through the chain and defeating the dragon at the end. Defeating seven dragons will give you a Welsh dra green dragon fragment for your oddities page. Next, defeat nine ancient dragons. So that's two more than you had before. Not resetting and going back to nine. Defeating nine will get you the Peruvian viper tooth fragment for your oddities page. Next, defeat 11 dragons. Again, it's not resetting, so two more than before. That will get you an Antipodean Opali. I actually said it the first try, 
so happy, an Antipodean opal eye dragon fragment for your oddities page. And finally, defeat 13 ancient dragons. Two more than before. Defeating 13 dragons gives you a Chinese fireball dragon fragment for your oddities page. This is going to be an opportunity for you to get dragons that are not from your area. I highly encourage you to try to do this, especially if you don't have any of those non-regional specific ones, this is your chance to get one. Completing the bonus challenge also gives you rewards. Five more Defense Against the Dark Arts books. 1,000 Wizarding XP, not counting all of the Wizarding XP you got from defeating all of those ancient dragons, so you're gonna be getting a lot of XP from this event. 40 gold, 30 spell energy, and a title, the Dragonologist. I guarantee you, Wolfie's gonna be working for that one. Now, if you are not yet level 14 and cannot participate in the adversaries portion, there is a spotlight event for you. Barufio's brain elixirs are going to have significantly reduced brew times, they're going to have their ingredients boosted, and their master's notes, I mean, the whole thing is about the brain elixir. First off, the brain elixir's brew time is reduced to six hours. Next, the Brain Elixir's Master's Notes will reduce its brew time by 50%. And during this event, using a Brain Elixir will give you three times XP, not just two times XP. If you are not yet level 14, this is a great opportunity for you to seriously get some grindage done, especially since the guaranteed foundables in the fortresses, the port keys, those things are still going to be available for you and you can get the XP bonuses from that as well. Now the ingredients for the brain elixir are the leaping toadstool, which you usually have to get from a greenhouse. You have to wait the 24 hours for them to grow. So if you need those, start planting them now. The frog brains and the rune spore eggs are pretty common, just generally on the map. The powdered dragon claw, however, is only available from inside port keys. You're gonna be getting a bunch of port keys anyway from this event, but maybe grind a few out before the event starts. Other tips and tricks on how to get through this event as quickly as possible or as efficiently as possible. Might I suggest making sure that you have a full collection of walked port keys ready for you when the event starts so that when the event starts, you can collect them all and have an open section to put those new dragon port keys in. You have to walk three of the dragon port keys as part of the event, so make sure that you are ready and prepared for that. Make sure you're utilizing the reduced brew times and the increased ingredients for the Stimula potions and the wit sharpening potions, because in order to defeat all of those dragons, you're gonna need a lot of both kinds of potions. This is a situation where you may need to actually purchase an edible dark mark if you don't have two sitting here waiting for you. More accurately, if you don't have currently one and you'll be getting one from your free store pack. They're costy. Thankfully, the last couple adversaries events have been giving you a lot of gold, but still, they're costy. Maybe just buy one. I think just one isn't as ridiculous, but still. I hope you've been hoarding your gold like I do. I'm not sure of any other tips or tricks except, you know, make sure you're staying safe when dealing with dragons, um, distance, range attacks, keep them as far away from you as absolutely possible. If these heads up are helpful for you, please like, subscribe, share. It really does help us out. If you have any ideas on how to get through this as efficiently as possible, please put that in the comments below. Thank you also to our patrons because you guys help make all of this crazy possible. And if you're not able to be a patron, we totally get that, but you'd still like to support us, um, you can buy us a coffee. The link for that is also in the description below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I used up a lot of Stimula potions in the last Brilliant event, so I need to get some brewing done to make sure that I'm ready for the event starting on the 2nd, which is tomorrow. Blech. So please, my witches and wizards, stay safe, please. So that means to keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready. But, but you're...
No, no, he's still in there. But you left him his phone, and I was in the neighborhood. 